exercise truly serves as the fountain of youth. We know that exercise promotes cardiovascular health. It yeah. helps balance our hormones, our blood sugar and insulin. We know that it releases endorphins and boosts the mood, but exercise also lengthens the chromosomal telomeres in our DNA to help really release the fountain of youth and help slow the aging process. The effects of exercise on the body are absolutely mm -hmm. incredible to a cellular level, oxygenating the cells, mm -hmm. balancing the hormones, strengthening the immune system. Often there's misconceptions surrounding exercise. You need expensive equipment, you need a gym membership, you need two hours a day when really Not all true. you need, absolutely, you just need a little bit of motivation and you really only need 15 to 30 minutes to pack in a so total body workout. So let's get into it. So we're gonna warm up here with some squats. This is a great functional move. Uh, as you can recognize, it's like sitting up out of a chair. So it really okay. strengthens those muscles to prevent Absolutely. injury. And this one, one of my favorite exercises that I've been incorporating in my routine as I get ready for Miss Florida is sliding. And what I love about it is that it's got so many great health benefits. Mm -hmm. With these, you really want to make sure your alignment's good. So shoulders over wrist, abdominals in and up. Hips are nice and level. So I'm going to keep sliding my way into That's that summer right. six pack. <laughs> Hope you slide right into <laughs> first place. <That's>, oh, thank <laughs> you. Great. Thank you. All right. Thank you again. Cross training is key and variety is key. I so, think so too. Yeah. Doing a little bit of everything is great. However, I am a big enthusiast on Pilates just because it made such an impact in my body, my physical health, and my athletic performance. And now I train as well, and, and I absolutely love it. There we and go. It, so there's low impact, safe on the joint cardiovascular workout. So it's really a total body workout here. So I'm getting my heart rate up. It's nice core strength and control. And so this is a great rehabilitation. Yes, antioxidants, rich foods are key because they help fight free radical damage in the body. So we want to get loads of berries in our diet, lots of colors. We want to eat the rainbow. Not Skittles, but not Skittles. Right. <laughs> <Not Skittles. laughs> <Not Skittles. laughs> Each color of fruit and vegetables contains specific phytonutrients uh, for our body to help support immunity and fight against disease. And so when it comes to heart health, the most important nutrient is red because red fruits and vegetables contain a nutrient called lycopene, which supports heart health. So be sure to get all the colors in there, focus on red for heart health. Dark leafy greens vegetables are great, high in antioxidants, yes. high in detoxifying uh, nutrients. Mm -hmm. The dark purples, again, strong antioxidants. The red contains lycopene for heart health. Every fruit yes. and vegetable contains. Mm -hmm. um, so eat those nutrients. things. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> eat and drink. Drink and eat those yes. so Berries are a great source of antioxidants. Dark leafy greens. Yes. Dark, I love dark that you put the chocolate in there. As long as it's unsweetened. It's so important during the holiday seasons, especially, to stay proactive rather than reactive in your there health. You, you, you want to plan and prepare ahead and set yourself up for success going into the new year. Yeah. Have the holiday seasons and just kind of go overboard on the goodies <laughs> and sweets. And then New Year's rolls around and we step on the scale for a resolution solution planning and wonder what happens. When it comes to traveling and eating healthy, it all comes down to proper planning and preparation. You know, you want to pack in advance. Do you really want to plan for your travels in order to stay on track, to stay healthy? Well, smoothies are a great way to pack a bunch of nutrients into one glass and make it taste delicious as well. So if you're on the go, it's a great way to get a new nutrients to start your day. So it's great for your kids, a great way to pack fruits and vegetables in their smoothies as well. So today I'm going to go over a little formula of what I use to create a perfect smoothie. Skin care is so important. As you said, our skin is the largest organ. Whatever we put on our skin is directly absorbed into our bloodstream. But the hopeful news is that the Harvard Medical Center states that 80% of heart disease can be prevented through dietary and lifestyle habits. So as important as nutrition and exercise are, my number one encouragement to help reduce heart disease is to stress less. Stress has an incredible impact on our body. So the number one thing in disease prevention is to reduce stress intentionally by taking time throughout our day to really rest. And it's just incredible when we embrace the visions and the dreams yeah. that we have for our life, we translate them onto our board, we transcribe them, and we fix our focus on them for the year. Love it's that. incredible what can happen. This is something anyone can do. Absolutely, for their life. This is for a student, a parent, an entrepreneur. Uh, anybody can really do this and, and see success. So Dream big for these. You want to create visions that seem unattainable at the time, but you also want to create a strategy to implement them. So, for instance, if your goal for the new year is to get healthier and to lose 10 pounds, yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, then, you know, you have to commit one hour a day or whatever that might be, 20 minutes, 30 sure. minutes a day, setting yourself up for success. So it's all of us are hunched over on our cell phones all day long, on yep. our computers working, and it's causing a lot of postural imbalances and issues. It's causing us to have a forward rounded shoulder position, mm -hmm. a forward 
head, neck position, this kyphotic position, which is leading to chronic headaches, neck spasms, neck pains, tight shoulders. And so we really want to be proactive about our posture and preventing these, these aches and pains that can be avoided. The foundation of a great posture is a strong core. Mm -hmm. So we just want abdominals in and up, shoulders gliding down the back. You're sitting at work writing. A nice little trick is to place that pen right in between your scapular muscles and then glide the shoulders down the back and give it a little pinch. Okay. And what this will do is help with our scapular retraction. So actually, this looks funny and people will ask you what you're doing, but then you can share with them about how to relieve tech neck and, and build healthy habits and we can kind of make it a contagious habit and encourage one another to, to do that. It's really important that we balance out our meals with a healthy portion of protein, fiber, and healthy fats. You know, don't be afraid of fat. Healthy fats like avocados, nuts, coconut oil is great for supporting heart health as well. I have the wonderful opportunity of training cancer patients through a program at my university called the Cancer Related Fatigue Program. So that's always been a huge passion of mine and it's really a blessing and an honor to be able to share that with others and help them in their journey as well. I've been so passionate about educating people on proactive steps toward prevention and so that naturally became my platform and I'm so grateful for the wonderful opportunities the Miss America organization through the pageants has given me to just speak on that platform and just visit children in the hospitals and schools and mm -hmm. just continue to speak and educate on cancer prevention. Everybody knows somebody and loves somebody mm -hmm. that is battling that. But there, there is a, there is hope. We um, don't go through these struggles and trials for no reason. We go through them to be able to help others and encourage others who are going through that. I so encourage everybody who's currently going through this as well to know that it's for a purpose and they're going to be able to bless and help so many other people as well. Oh yeah, you should come. So it's actually, it's in West Palm Beach. Okay, well, I'll drive. Yeah, yeah. I teach a free mat Pilates every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. and it's poolside. It's right by the pool. But yes. anybody can do it, right? Yes, absolutely. Rebound training, also known as trampoline training, is an excellent workout that promotes cardiovascular health. It's low impact, so it's safe on the joints, and it's also great for your immune system by promoting lymphatic circulation. So it's a great workout, super fun, super energizing, and I can't wait to try it with you today. Let's bounce our way to better health together. Join us this Friday night at 6.30 at Hilton West Palm Beach for Bounce Fit. Meraki Juice Kitchen will be providing free juices, so be sure to come support the American Cancer Society for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and together, let's bounce for breast cancer awareness. Beauty bands, bole, and breast cancer awareness. Join us this Saturday, October 5th at 10 a.m. for Fit for a Cause, right here at Bole West Palm Beach. With a $5 to $10 donation towards the Sari Center, you'll receive a free bowl and a free booty band workout. So bring your mat, bring your friends, and together, let's get Fit for a Cause. Hey guys, welcome to beautiful sunny South Florida and welcome to Technique Tip Tuesday. In this series, my goal empower you with education on proper form so that when you go to work out or go to take classes, you know exactly what to do. You're maximizing your workout and you're minimizing your risk so for injury. Step into class, you're feeling super confident with your form. So let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome to Abs Today I'm gonna to take you through a booty burning workout that's going to tighten and tone, strengthen and sculpt our body's powerhouse muscles. 